you can find something that you have an innate ability for, and we love doing things we have an innate ability for, right? We have an innate talent in our DNA for. And then go, now I'm ready to educate myself, learn, hustle, go after, see, create opportunities, bam, bam. It's gonna be in the prism of my, how I measure every situation where I am going forward. Hunt it down and do what you gotta do to get better at it. And then it's hopefully something that the world can demand, you're- right, That's a sweet spot. Now you're, now, now you're, now you're paying your rent, man. <laughs> and now, now we got food on the table. Now, now, now we're rolling, now we're waking up with some purpose. Now we're waking up with, um, you know, yeah, it's gonna be a hard day today, but I don't, I can't, I'm not dreading Monday morning. You know, yeah. um, maybe I'll sleep in, but I got, I'm building something. I'm building something here. I'm in construction. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. It's like if you want to have everything you could possibly want and more, then be a good person. The better a person you are, the more likely that is to happen. There's no better strategy. Don't just do it for the money. You can make a lot of money. When you find something that you love, you will study it. Something that you love, it becomes a difference between being in speaking and speaking being in you. That you will become not just confident, but you will become competent on that. Visualization is a gift to your heart and your soul. It's a gift. Because if the, the idea is the seed, visualization is the fertilizer. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. Get over it and get on with it. And yes, most things are more rewarding when you break a sweat to get them. Take everything away and then what is it that you see in the mirror? Do you see there is the loving heart? Mm. There is the strength or the willpower inside this body. There is the discipline inside this body. There is a loyal person standing. Mm. There is pride inside of this. No, you're not famous, and no, it's not. A, you were what before you were ever an actor. Before, what are you? What were you? Before you were McConaughey. Before you were a Texan. Before you were an American. Before you were an actor. Before you were a movie star. Before you were a celebrity. What? What? Come on, get it all off. And I. And it was a purge. You're the only son of a can't get rid of. So, we're gonna duke it out for the rest of our life here, or are we gonna figure out how to get along? You believe, we, you know, we know from the science and we know from experience that if I exercise, it's a process and it's good for me, even though I can't measure it in the short term. And if I eat well and I keep doing that, I know it'll keep me healthy for the long term. If I eat more leafy greens and less sugar, I know and I just have to stick to this process that 100%, 100% of the time, it works. How long does it take to get into shape when you start exercising? Nobody knows. Right. Neither does any doctor. Sometimes a little less time for some people and sometimes a little more time for others. Like, we don't know. We just know 100% that it works. And so I had to get used to the idea professionally that I'm gonna do things that I know work, but I won't be able to measure them. And I just have to be okay with the fact that it works, like exercise, like eating right. And so that's where, you know, learning an infant mindset and letting go of annual goals. So people are like, you know, what's your annual goal? I don't have any because I can't predict what I'm going to achieve based on arbitrary timelines. And, and it's real important in the visualization, you can't see it over there. You have to see it right here. Feel it. You got to yeah. feel it right here. Like I am, it's all I am. I am, I am in my dream home. I am in my dream relationship. And then unpack what that looks like. But most importantly, unpack what it feels like. And when you have that, that emotion in this moment, all of a sudden you stir up something that I don't think will ever go back to sleep. It'll go, okay, let's go get that. Develop your mind. You don't get in life what you want. You get in life what you are. You have greatness in you. That you have the ability to do more than you could ever begin to imagine. You have greatness in you. There's a presence in each and every one of us that waits and listens to the voice of the genuine in yourself. 
It will be perhaps the only God you will ever have or hear. And if you cannot hear it all of your life, will be spent on the ends of strings that somebody else pulls. When you recognize your greatness, no one will ever pull your strings. You are different. You were created on purpose, with a purpose, to manifest that purpose through you. But you will never exercise authority and dominion over your life until you exercise authority and dominion over what you are not. Abundance is just about overflow. It's about overflow. That means that if there were a saucer under this cup, abundance would be everything. Um, this tea flows over into the saucer, and I can feed you from my saucer because I have filled my, filled my cup up enough. I use my cup for me, and I feed you from my saucer. Mm. And abundance is saying, I have a saucer in my relationships filled with great experiences. There's a saucer in my health and wellness. I have so much bountiful health and vitality that I can show up for you. There's a saucer with my spirituality that I can pray for you. I can forgive give the perceivingly unforgivable and love the perceivingly unlovable and then there's a saucer for my finances mm -hmm. and that in every area because abundance is a 360 experience see wealth is singularly focused wealth is about your money and your possessions that's wealth okay but abundance is 360 i have a lot of very very wealthy friends they're wealthy they're not abundant your ability to put something into your own mind where nobody else has impact on you. And only you know that day in, day out, you just still walk this path and feel for yourself mm. how it's getting real. Because it's unbroken. <clears throat> because there's nobody who can interfere. Make that dash <laughs> dance. Make it rock this planet. Make it unapologetic. Take no prisoners. Play full out. If you're going to run, run fast, run hard, even at the risk of hitting the wall. Make it dash dance. Greatness is about being willing to be used to your highest level of possibility, even when it's uncomfortable even when it's unpopular, even when you're alone, even when it's inconveniencing, you're still willing to lead. We understand the fire burning within you, the relentless desire to conquer, to overcome, to become the best version of yourself. And we've captured that spirit in every fabric we create. Stand tall, my friend. Unleash your potential and ignite the fire within.